Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today we're going to customize a phone case to look like a crazy alien monster. So every once in a while I like to switch up my content a little bit and do a few customizations here and there. I customized that monster sketchbook cover last summer, I did that alien sketchbook cover a while before that, and then I did that Christmas ornament over the holidays, and now it's time to do a phone case. And this one is going to be more on the alien route because we're going to use a lot of fun color shift metallics, tons of teeth, and of course some wonderful glass cabochon irises. So if you want to see how I do this and you want to make your very own custom alien monster phone case, then hit like, hit subscribe, and let's get started. All right, for the first step, I know I want this thing to have a ton of teeth, so I'm gonna start using my translucent Primo and roll out each tooth individually. I'm going to then bake these so that they are completely hard and it is really easy for me to just poke them right into my sculpture. And as always, all of the materials and tools that I use in this video are listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate links if you wanna purchase anything. And then once I have all my teeth rolled out, I'm going to go ahead and bake them. And while those are baking, let's take a quick look at the phone case we've got. It's this nice spec one for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm just going to open this up here. And it is a little scuffed. I was kind of disappointed with that. Come on, spec, what's going on here? But it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be covering this area with clay later on. And I like how big the surface is of this, so we have a lot of room to sculpt on. And then this is a flexible case, which is totally fine because the glue that I'll be using to glue the sculpture onto the case later on is it stays flexible after it's completely cured. So it does have a little bit of give and you don't have to worry about cracking the sculpture. So anyway, I just rolled out a piece of clay on the thickest setting. We're using Super Sculpey Original for this and I'm just sort of cutting out a rough size for the sculpted area and then I'm just going to constantly be checking it on the case until I get it to a size that fits. And then throughout the entire sculpting process I will be applying this back onto the phone case just to make sure that it is the correct size. You don't want to bake this and then have it be too big or too small or whatever. You constantly have to check the size of everything. So we're just going to cut out that camera area like so using my wonderful Excel blade because I lost my broken palette knife and I'm really disappointed about it so I will be replacing that soon. But anyway, we got the size down, let's gently pull that off the case and then start sculpting. And then I did say that the glue is flexible once it's dry and everything, but you still do have to be careful when you're putting the case on and off your phone because you can still crack the clay. The flexibility just gives it a little bit of give to make that a little more preventable. All right, now I just sort of shaped out the shape of the mouth that I wanted and that doesn't really matter. So I'm just using some black clay to create the inside of the mouth because we're gonna put a ton of teeth in it and I won't be able to fit a paintbrush behind each of the teeth. So black clay just makes it easier. I'm just using my large ball stylus here to shape out the inside of that mouth. Now to create, I guess, the gum area, I'm going to use this nice snake of clay and start wrapping it around the exterior of the mouth. This will create some height to the mouth area and give me a place to perfectly poke in all of my little monster teeth. Now I want to create two layers of teeth, so I'm going to add a larger snake of clay around the first one, just so I can poke some into the top and then some into the back. So there's a lot of teeth going on here. And you'll see what I mean in a second. And so far so good, doesn't really look like anything yet, but now it's time for the fun part, inserting all of the teeth. I will be using my fingers to poke the teeth in and also some wonderful Excel tweezers to poke the teeth in as well. And I love these tweezers, they're great quality. So if you wanna get some for yourself or any other tools from Excel Blades, use my coupon code Ace of Clay for 15% off your purchase. And then because this is a phone case, whether or not I'm actually going to use it, I want to put the teeth in sort of at an angle so that when you're holding this in your hand, you're not stabbing yourself constantly. 
And I did mention this earlier, these teeth are made from translucent Sculpey Premont, which is extremely durable and perfect for this application. The black clay that I used for inside the mouth is also Sculpey Primo. Now let's finish off this mouth area and roll out a snake of clay, flatten it down a little bit, and then stick it around the edges of everything. And this is going to be a sort of lip. And then once that's on, I'm going to go ahead and blend in the outside edge with everything else. Alright, now that we've got that, we're going to stick it back on the case and see if we need any adjustments. Alright, now let's start the eyes. To make these, I will be using 16 and 12 millimeter cabochons. I'm just sticking them onto this clay here to hold them in place while I paint the backs of them, and we're going to give them some nice vertical irises. Now for the rest of the eyes, we're going to use this nice color shift aqua flash and paint over the entire back of each cabochon. And we do this after the irises are completely dry. After a few coats of our aqua flash and letting that completely dry, this is what we've got. Not too bad. Now we're going to bring the case back and then position each one in the spot that I want it to be before committing and pushing it in. And then pushing in those eyes did move the clay around a little bit so we got to put it back on the case and do a little bit more trimming. Now once that's back to size we're going to go ahead and give each eye a nice pair of eyelids. Once all the eyelids are on, we're going to go in with a couple different tools to texture the skin. I'm going to start around the eyes with my explorer tool and then shape things out with my large ball stylus and then go back in with my explorer tool to create this nice creepy skin texture. And let's finish it off with a mole, because why not? And once the surface of the skin is completely textured, we're going to go ahead and brush the entire surface with some clay softener to remove fingerprints and blend everything together without losing any detail. Then put it on the case for one last fitting and then fill in some areas that may be missing and then get it ready to bake. And as you can see I do not bake the clay on the case. And once it's baked and completely cooled down you can see it cured very nicely, it's completely flat and it fits great. 
I bake all of my sculptures on a glass Pyrex dish. And now it's time for paint. All the paints that I use in this video are Folk Art brand. And we're just going to go ahead and paint everything black. I wanted to decide at the last minute what color to make the rest of it. And I did decide on that cool color shift color palette. So the, the best base for that is solid black. So we're going to get this all on there and then wait for it to dry and then go in with those color shifts. And here first I'm using some blue violet flash and this has a very strong gold shift to it. And then I'm going to go in with some purple flash in between, kind of creating these like splotchy areas of color and give it a nice color shift look and feel. And then to finish it off, once I'm done getting the areas around the gums, I'm going to go in with some emerald flash to give it a sort of oil slick color scheme. Now once our paint is completely dry, I'm going in with the pointy end of a skewer and my explorer tool to scrape off any excess paint on our cabochons. Now to give the mouth and teeth a nice slimy look, I'm using some resin. This is two part epoxy resin made by Alumalite. It is called Amazing Clear Cast. And keep in mind, while it does look fun, resin is toxic and you should always use it with gloves and all of the proper safety equipment and in a well ventilated area. And 12 to 24 hours later, once everything is completely dry and cured, we are going to attach the sculpted portion to our phone case. To do this, I am using E6000 Industrial Adhesive. This stuff smells really bad. Again, just like the resin, use all the proper precautions when you are using this stuff. And I'm just sort of spreading it around with that another disposable glue brush, adding a little bit more. And then we are going to stick on our monster. And then this is a little forgiving. You don't have to commit to exactly where you place it right off the bat. You can move it around a little bit. It takes quite a while to completely harden. And again, what's great about this glue is it does stay flexible after it's dry. So there is some give. And then to hold our sculpture in place on the phone case, I'm using a hair tie and rubber band, like so. I also use some chip bag clips. And it's done! Our alien monster phone case is complete. Let me know what you think of this thing in the comments. And that's a wrap. I really hope you like how the alien monster phone case came out. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I really like how the eyes turned out. I love the contrast of the light blue and the purple and gold color shift and everything else. Those color shift paints from Folk Art are seriously like my favorite metallic paints ever. They just look so cool. The pigmentation is incredible and they look amazing over black and I just really love them and I love all the eyes and the teeth of course. Again, Sculpey coming through with the Primo that's extremely durable. I don't know what this is going to feel like to hold in your hand all the time but at least it looks cool. So anyway, let me know what you think of this guy in the comments and if you plan on making your own crazy alien monster phone case. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and then follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Ace of Clay. I'm also on TikTok, so check me out there before it gets banned. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.